Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another car audio q and I'm Alan. And I'm Brendan. <laughs> Why are you laughing? We're just getting started. I know, I know. Right. It's the end of the day. I know, it's, it's almost uh, five. All right, so anyway, we got a question today from Jamie Pascool, the second. And this is from YouTube. It says, uh, hey, I installed a new car stereo and some new rear speakers. I got an itch. Hold on. All right. The other week. Uh, and after I got done and tested the rear speakers, I turned it up to volume 20 to 23, and after that, the speakers just crackled and popped. Sounded horrible. Anything less than that, it sounds great, but um, I have to keep the bass down low in order for it to sound good. I've got a 1998 Pontiac Grand Am. I have Sony rear speakers and a Kenwood stereo. Snap, crackle, pop. Well, that particular <laughs> vehicle, Rice Krispies. Uh, Rice Krispies is the amplified system, factory amplified system. Rice, Rice Krispies? Krispies, yeah. Yeah, okay. Because uh, all it does is snap, crackle, and pop. Yeah. <laughs> but you may have the factory monsoon uh, amplified system in that vehicle, which in some cases uh, maybe could cause the speakers to distort. It just depends on the speakers that you have in there, which are Sony's, right? That that just sounded terrible. I just went on a tangent and I don't even know where I went. <laughs> well, you were supposed to talk about the snap, crackle, crackle and pop. pop. Yeah, yeah, that's where it was. For one, make sure the polarity is correct to the speaker, because I know you're more than likely using uh, the factory wire to wire up to that aftermarket Sony 6x9. So you want to make sure your polarity cor is correct. Which How do you know it's a 6x9? Uh, didn't he say it was a 6x9? Did you the not listen no, to me? No, I, did, I didn't listen to the I question. didn't say 6x9. <laughs> Is six and a half? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty it sure that be. I'm pretty sure the Grand Am's is six and a half for a six by nine. Right. Either way, you got a Sony speaker in there. We want to make sure the polarity is correct by utilizing the factory wires. So you may want to look up a wiring diagram for that vehicle to ensure that you have positive going to the positive speaker lead on that speaker and negative going to that speaker lead on that actual Sony speaker that you have installed. Because uh, obviously, if your polarity is incorrect, the speaker is firing inward into the trunk, not outward, and it could cause distortion at uh, certain volumes. But uh, really, in my opinion, you may want to look at the settings of your car stereo. If the bass boost is on, the loudness is on, that's going to cause a heavy distortion going through the mids and highs of that vehicle. I mean, that's great for like lower volume listening. Like that's kind of what loudness is, you know, in my yeah. opinion, really used for. Just if you want to kind of emphasize those lower frequencies um, and kind of boost certain ranges uh, at a low volume. But at a higher volume, all that really does is just add distortion. So I usually recommend those off. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. But uh, also, uh, your Kenwood deck, obviously I don't know the model number, but it should have a high pass filter. That's what it is. And so you might want to check that. Um, some of the high pass filters in most radios usually like go from like 63 to 80 to 120, et cetera. Uh, there could be a few other frequencies in there. Uh, usually a good one is right around 80 hertz to start with. You can go a little bit lower. It's kind of something you want to you know, maybe mess with. Um, and that's basically putting a crossover point on that speaker. Uh, also, another thing, if all those things are set properly, uh, depending on the speakers that you do have, you may be running out of power. Yeah. You may not have enough power to power that speaker properly, so you're clipping, so you're getting distortion, and you may be getting some popping and crackling. Um, you may need an amplifier. Obviously, like we were kind of saying some of the other ones, you were pretty specific on a lot of stuff. You kind of helped us out, but if we had some more information, I, I, I'm assuming you don't have an amp because you did yeah. say you had a Kenwood deck and speakers, but uh, you know, maybe you look at, at the model of your radio, chances are any aftermarket deck is going to pretty much be its 50 by 4, and for all those that you don't know, that's max. Yeah. RMS is around 20. 22 watts at the most. 17. Yeah. 20. Somewhere around there. 28. Uh, it's about 20 to 22 watts. Yeah. So, you know, if you've got a speaker that needs 75 RMS, it's still obviously going to play, but you have no headroom there. You're running out of power. You're, yep. you're running out of gas quick. So um, you may need an amplifier to pump more power to that speaker. So there could be a few variations there, but I think more than likely, um, if you're saying if you turn it down a couple notches, it sounds fine. Um, I would probably just double check the settings on your deck. Yeah. You don't need to turn the bass all the way down if you're using the high pass filter, because the high pass filter is a crossover and it crosses over the speaker at a particular frequency. So some of those frequencies aren't affected. So you don't need to turn the bass all the way down and lose a lot of that output. You could just turn the crossover on on the deck. Yeah, I would, I would just set the deck to flat, adjust your mids and your highs if you want to, but not the bass level, because obviously your speakers can't handle that, so you don't have enough power. 
Also set the high pass filter to 63 or 80 hertz, which should be more than enough to filter out. Because that's going to act as a floor. It's not going to allow that 6x9, which I think it is, out of nowhere. <laughs> could be a 4-inch. Could be a 4-inch. Uh, well, if it's a 4-inch, you want your high pass filter at like 100 hertz. <laughs> or but, more. <laughs> <laughs> or more. But uh, if it's a 6x9 or a 6.5 in that back deck lid, 63 hertz high pass filter or 80 hertz high pass filter settings is going to be more than adequate because that's going to act as a floor and not allow that speaker to drop any lower than that setting that you put it on the deck. That's where I would start. Make sure loudness is off, bass boost is off, EQ's flat, adjust the mids and highs if you really want to, and make sure the high pass filter is on. Yeah, once all those settings are set properly, then you can go ahead and start tweaking your EQ a little bit. Yeah. If you want to bump up the mid range a bit or, uh, or your treble a little bit, usually for the most part, if you've got a good speaker, flat right out yeah. of the box should sound pretty good. You might just need to just kind of put a little, few little tweaks on it to your liking, exactly. um, but then it should sound good. Yeah, that's about it, man. And if all else fails, oh, he's got more. You can ask another question, <laughs> and we'll answer it in and the comments below. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully that gave you some insight and in checking some of the settings on your radio. Um, sounds like we, like we said, just a couple tweaks. You should be able to get it to sound pretty darn good. And uh, like I said, if that does not work, uh, repost maybe your model number, your Kenwood deck. We can double check on some of the features for you. Also the speakers. Yeah, let us and, know what kind um, of speakers you got in there if they're six that by nines. That, <laughs> that way we can make sure if you're powering them adequately. So it, it's kind of like, you know, uh, if you have a thousand horsepower race car, but you're running 87 octane on it, sure it's going to start. Always uses but, that. But, uh, you know, chances are it's not going to run right. It's going to blow up and pop and ping and Snap boom. Snap will crack and pop. So it, it's definitely wise <laughs> to power your speaker the way it should be as well too. So, um, yep. Thanks for watching. See you soon. See you later, guys.